Well, this is a, a story about a woman who um, has, in her mind, the perfect life. Her husband, he's a sir. They live in a wonderful house. They have money. They, she belongs to the tennis club. And he's about to retire, and she's looking forward to their retirement. Anyway, she then finds out he's been having an affair with her best friend. So her life is shattered. Um, and then the film is about what happens next and uh, how she has to cope with this huge change in her life. And she goes and lives with her sister. That's not easy because they haven't seen each other for 10 years. So there's a lot of problems. And this film is about how this woman um, can get on with her life, whether she's going to stay the same, whether she's going to be um stubborn um, and say, this is how I am, I am not changing, or whether she's going to make some changes and embrace the future. Well, in a way, you know, I, uh, whatever is on the page, that's what I do. And I don't have to, you know, I, I, you empathise, but I also just have to play a woman. You know, she's not, you know, you wouldn't want her as your best friend, particularly when this film starts. Uh, she's quite a snobbish sort of woman. And I love that, I, you know, that she's got this journey to make. And so, you, you know, what I have to portray is this woman who you think, just lighten up or, you know, just be nice to people. Don't be so, you know, so I have to play that woman. I can't play a woman. I can't understand why she's so upset. You, you know why she's upset. She's been so utterly embarrassed. Uh, she's mortified. And um, so I I find that a challenge because it's sort of, it's, it's a flawed character and they're so much more interesting to play. I did quite like diving into a very, very cold pond in November. Well, T Tim Spall and I were at drama school together. Celia Imri and I have known each other since the uh, mid-70s. Um, so, you know, it couldn't get much more relaxed on set if you tried. So, and we all have such respect for each other and Joe Lumley and David Heyman. Um, that makes it very easy. And you get a shorthand and our director sort of insists on a very, you know, fun-loving set to work on. So, you know, and also it was filmed very near where I live. So my goodness me, I had, it was all, it was all happening for me, really. It was a perfect combination.